anaitwa pastor John Katata wa Gospel Outreach pale Salga. Kanisa letu liko uh, Salga ukitoka Nakuru ukielekea kwa Nakuru Eldoret Highway kabla hujafika Salga kuna hoteli inaitwa Pems Lodge. Hapo tu mbele kidogo mkono wa kulia utaona kanisa letu la Gospel Outreach. Tumekaribishwa kujiunga na sisi ibada zetu ni siku ya uh, Jumapili kila Jumapili kuanzia saa tatu hadi saa saba za mchana na hata pia tuna ibada ya katikati ya Juma kuanzia saa uh, moja hadi saa mbili na nusu. Mungu awabariki mnapojiunga nasi. Leo nataka kuzungumzia juu ya uh, marejesho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kitabu cha mwanzo 47 mstari wa kwanza na wa sita uh, Genesis chapter number 47 tuanze tu from verse 1 Then Joseph went and told Pharaoh and said My father and my brothers their flocks and their herds and all that they possess have come from the land of Canaan and indeed they are in the land of Goshen And he took five men from among his brothers and presented them to Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? And they said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds. Both we and also our fathers. And they said to Pharaoh, We have come to dwell in the land because your servants have no pasture for their flocks. For the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, please let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. Then Pharaoh spoke to Joseph saying, Your father and your brothers have come to you. I want you to mark that word, that they have come to you. Whenever six, the land of Egypt is before you. Have your father and brothers dwell in the best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Goshen, and if you know any competent men among them, then make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Father, we pray even as we listen to your word. Father, may you give us a revelation of the things of heaven. Teach us your way and your will. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi zote tunajua habari ya Joseph. Joseph alikuwa ni kijana wa Yakobo. Na tunajua kwamba huyu kijana Joseph aliuzwa na ndugu zake. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na safari ya Joseph haikuwa safari rahisi. Ilikuwa ni safari nzito ndugu zake walimuuza wakadanganya baba yao ya kwamba Joseph ameliwa na wanyama na lakini baadaye Joseph akaenda akawa mtu mkuu sana katika nchi ya Misri lakini safari yake kuwa mtu mkuu haikuwa safari rahisi bwana asifiwe sana alijuta aliumia lakini kuna kitu moja ambayo uh, Joseph alifanya katika safari yake na maisha yake hakuna siku hata moja alimwacha Mungu bwana asifiwe sana e, Joseph hakuna wakati hata mmoja aliishi kumpendeza Mungu wake bwana asifiwe jambo moja hata unakumbuka alipojaribiwa na yule uh, mke wa Potifa eh Joseph alipojaribiwa aliamua afadhali kutoroka awache mpaka vazi lake lakini ya ba, bado abaki akiwa mwaminifu kwa Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana hakusema kama wengi wengi wangesema vunja mifupa kama meno bado iko lakini Joseph hakusema hivyo aliamua ya kwamba liwe liwalo nitaendelea kumtumikia Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana. Wapendwa, 
ninataka kuwaeleza siku ya leo ya kwamba katika maisha yako siku zote utakapoishi ukimgojea Mungu na ukiwa mwaminifu katika njia zake hakuna siku Mungu atakuacha Bwana asifiwe sana Praise the name of the Lord Wakati wote utakuwa mwaminifu kwa Mungu Kuwa mwaminifu kwa Mungu si kusema hautapitia majaribu Bwana asifiwe sana na kila mtu hapa anapitia majaribu ya kivyake. Kila mtu anajaribiwa na mambo yake. Bwana asifiwe sana. So it doesn't mean at kwa sababu we ni mwaminifu kwa Mungu ya kwamba maisha yako haina challenge. In fact Mungu anakuletea challenge ili upate kushinda hizo challenge kwa sababu anajua una uwezo wa kushinda hizo challenge. Katika jina la Yesu kila challenge ambayo unapitia kimaisha Leo nina kutangazia ya kwamba utaishinda katika jina la Yesu. Baada ya Joseph kwenda kule, maandiko inasema na kukaa na njaa kubwa sana, mpaka hawa ndugu wakaenda kutafuta lishe. Maandiko inatuambia walipoenda hata hawakuwa wanajua Joseph. Lakini Joseph aliwajua na akawafanyia mpango tu kimzaha akaficha ki, kitu ndani ya chakula ile walikuwa naye ili tu apate kupata nafasi ya wao kumjua lakini baadaye wao kupata kumjua walirudi wakaenda kumleta baba yao na familia yao ikakuja bwana asifiwe sana walikuwa na uchida walikuwa na aibu kwa sababu ya yale walimtendea lakini Joseph aliwaambia jambo moja <laughs> ya kwamba hii mambo yote msijali kwa sababu hii mambo nilipitia sio kwa sababu yenu ilikuwa ni mpango ya Mungu nipitie haya yote ili siku moja nipate kuwaokoa nyinyi Bwana asifiwe sana hata katikati wakati walikuwa wanamuuza ilikuwa tu mpango ya Mungu ya kwamba Joseph apitie hii yote ili wakati mmoja atapata kuokoa watu wake. Wapendwa kuna mambo unapitia lakini wewe unafikiri unapitia kwa ajili yako lakini unayapitia kwa ajili ya jamii yako. Unapitia kwa ajili ya watu wenu. Wewe ndiye utakaye kuwa mokozi wa jamii yenu. If you give up, you are giving up on your people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mambo haya mnapitia. Saa hii. Unaweza kuwa unayapitia kwa sababu ya familia yako, sababu ya jamii yetu, jamii yako. Eh? Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, baada ya miaka mingi ya Joseph kuishi bila ndugu zake wamekuja and now walipoenda wakalete baba yao wakamkuta Joseph Bwana asifiwe sana Walipokuja na kukuta Joseph maandiko yanasema Joseph akawachukua akawapaleka katika inchi ya Goshen Inchi ya Goshen ilikuwa ndiyo inchi ambayo ilikuwa na rotuba sana Ilikuwa ni inchi ambayo ilikuwa protected sana. Inchi ya Goshen hata kama unaangalia maandiko katikati ya zile plague zote zilifanyika, inchi ya Goshen ndio inchi ya, ya pekee ambayo haikuguzwa na hizo plague. Bwana asifiwe sana. This was a holy land. It was prepared for God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And the Bible says akarudi akawachukua ndugu zake akawapeleka kwa farao. Na farao akamwambia Joseph maneno haya ya kwamba hii watu yako kuna mtu anajua kitu. Sema hey, wengine wanajua kuchunga, unajua sasa siku hiyo hakukuwa na madere. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kazi siku hiyo ilikuwa kazi mafundi walikuwa ni watu ya kuchonga mawe, kujenga. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na na kazi kubwa ilikuwa kulisha mifugo. Hakukuwa mapilot, 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Maandiko inasema Farao akamwambia jambo hili. Akamwambia kwamba hii watu wamerudi kwako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the name of the Lord. Hii watu wamerudi kwako. My message is about restoring. Ni kurejesha. Praise God. Maandiko yanaongea katika kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza 30 inaongea juu ya Daudi. Baada ya wao kutoka vita, walikuja wakakuta wake zao na watoto na mifugo yote imeshaenda. Na baada ya Daudi kuinquire kutoka kwa Mungu, Mungu alimwambia pasu, Bwana asifiwe sana, ya kwamba fuata na utarejesha na utaovertake ya kwamba kile utarejesha itakuja zaidi ya kile ulikuwa nayo Bwana asifiwe sana Joseph jamii yao ambao wamekaa miaka mingi Mungu anairejesha Bwana asifiwe sana leo katika jina la Yesu sijui ni nani huyo ambaye amekuwa akililia jamii yake. Mungu anaenda kurejesha jamii yako. Wengine wamepotelea kwa pombe, umekuwa na machozi. Mungu anaenda kurejesha katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sijui ni nani huyo ambaye Bwana ananenea leo ya kwamba Mungu anaenda kukutanisha na jamii yako. Wengine muliko sana na jamii yenu ndugu zenu hamuongei tena katika jina la Yesu. Mungu anaenda kuleta sababu ya ninyi kuongea tena. Bwana asifiwe sana. You know watu kwa familia Watu wanapitana bana sifa zani. Paka unakutana na ndugu yako au dada yako mwasimu si kama unamjua bwana asifiwe sana. Na unajua kuna kitu kibaya kama watu wametoka tumbo moja wakanyonya matiti moja wakarudi wakakosana. Hao watu wanakuwa maadui wabaya kwa sababu kila mmoja anatafutaka ule mwingine kumaliza. Na leo katika jina la Yesu labda ulikosewa ukatoka kwenyu miaka mingi mpaka ukasema hautarudi Bwana analeta njia ya kusababisha we urudi kwenu angaa upate mpa, kupatana katika jina la Yesu ninasikia Mungu ujumbe wake wa siku ya leo ni kwamba anarejesha watu kupatana Bwana asifiwe sana Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu atarejesha waliopotea watoto wetu ambao wamepotea kwa madawa, wamepotea kwa mambo ya kiulimwengu. Bwana anaenda kurejesha katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tunatangaza hata wapendwa wetu ambao tulishiriki na wao hapa baada ya corona hawajarudi hatujajua ni nini tunatangaza wanarudi katika jina la Yesu kila sababu ambayo imewafunga leo katika jina la Yesu tunaivunja tunaiharibu tunatangaza neno la Mungu la kurejesha baada ya miaka mingi Joseph kaona watu yao bwana sasa na Mungu akasema eh, Farao akamwambia hawa wapeleke kule. Na sio hivyo wapewe kazi za juu Bwana asifiwe sana. Wapewe the Bible says make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. Wapewe mamlaka Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise God. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 maandiko yanasema ya Joel ya yeah. Joel 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 chapter number 2 verse number 
So the Bible says, so I will restore to you the years that the swam, swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. Bwana sifuwe Why? Why chanu kwambie? Mungu wana njia kunyorosha wati yake. Bwana sifuwe sana. Na mungu anasema ya kwamba, you know, the reason mungu alikuwa analetea watu hizi locust, ilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya disobedience. Watu wakimuasi mungu, mungu alikuwa naachilia hizi locust. Na unaona zilikuwa inamingi, zingine zinaitua the swarming locust, the crawling, kuna zile zinakuja juu, kuna zile zinapitia chini. Ni kama jeshi tu, wana sifuwe sana. Si unaona jeshi kuna ile ya njikafu, kuna ingine inapita juu, kuna ingine inapitia ya, inchi, ya, 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 ya maji, wana sifuwe sana, kuna ile ya watu wana Nada kusikia ukifungua kinywa chako sasa as you speak as you speak to your family as you speak to the things kama ni biashara yako iko chini declare that god is restoring ambia bwana leo nimesikia neno lako kama jinsi ulirejesha ukarejesha jamii ya Yusuf ya Joseph pia hata na yangu unarejesha hata na biashara yangu unarejesha miaka yote ambao the locust waliharibu bwana unarejesha anything that i have lost during this pandemic god you are restoring oh hallelujah i want to hear you i want to hear you Rakusia, ukinena na bwana. Shakarabazeke rimoya. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. We come before you this morning, this afternoon, Lord, as we declare, Lord, that everything that we have lost to our enemy, Lord, you are going to restore. Just as you spoke to David to pursue and restore and overtake. Father, we are pursuing that which belongs to us we pursue today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 